Okay, so welcome to our video on how to pack a trombone for shipping. Before we do anything else, I have to say there's no way to completely eliminate all risk to your trombone while shipping, so I always buy insurance for the full replacement value of the instrument. Let's get some background music and start packing. Wait, what's this crap? Oh, that's much better. Anyway, the first thing I do is make sure and wear hideously clashing colors when I film YouTube videos, then clear a comfortable area to work in and remove any large critters. If you're only shipping a slide, this video is going to be real short for you. All you need to do is go to your friendly neighborhood firearms and or sporting goods store and get an inexpensive gun case. I've even seen them in some of those big box stores too. Thanks, Second Amendment. So that's all you really need to know if you're shipping only a slide. But if you're shipping a complete instrument, you'll want to check out the rest of this video. Gather your packing materials, a lamp box from your local moving and truck rental purveyor, a 12-inch cardboard tube for pouring cement, bubble wrap, and lots and lots of packing peanuts. And I mean lots. Measure the length of your box and try playing with your cat. When they lose interest, this should happen pretty quickly, cut the cardboard tube down to size. Bonus points for keeping all your digits, especially if you play valve trombone. Anyway, next I like to put a towel down so that I don't leave stains on my carpet, or more importantly, scratch up my trombone, then I take it apart for shipping. Nope, that's too much. There we go. Basically, I don't like putting extra weight on the bell because it's the thinnest and lightest part of the horn. So I feel taking the valves off of it, if you're able, will help keep from adding extra stress to that part while shipping, as long as things don't move around inside the box. More on that later. Now, the trick is to wrap each part individually in bubble wrap. You see here, I'm putting some bubble wrap between my main tuning slide and the valve tubing to make sure things don't move inside the box while shipping, then I wrap the entire valve section with a few layers of bubble wrap, making sure to tape it all in place. You might notice I'm taping on the flat side of the bubble wrap, not the bubble side. On a side note, the neater your wrapping and taping job is, the higher the odds you'll be able to reuse these materials so that we aren't filling landfills with plastic and packing peanuts every time we ship instruments. I know there's cellulose-based packing peanuts, but is there a biodegradable bubble wrap out there? Let me know in the comments below! Anyway, you'll notice that when I'm wrapping my slide, I put an extra layer of bubble wrap on the ends of the slide, then I continue wrapping a few layers of bubble wrap around the body of the slide. Really people, there's no sense trying to save money on bubble wrap when shipping a trombone. With the bell, I like to use a cone. It's just a styrofoam cone, the kind you get at your local religiously affiliated craft store while ignoring their stance on reproductive rights for their employees. Then I wrap it with a little cloth to keep it from scratching up my horn. You can also use a sock if you have big feet like me. Anyway, you might notice I cut the cone so that it's a little longer than the bell. And that is so that if there's any impact to that side of the box while shipping, hopefully the cone will absorb it. This is also the cone I put inside my trombone bell when I travel and it fits inside my case keeping everything from moving around. For the record, I definitely don't check my horn if I can avoid it, but it's nice to have some insurance especially for short flights and domestic travel. Okay, enough about cones. I like to add a few layers of bubble wrap to the bottom of the bell as a pillow to isolate the edge of the bell flare and keep it suspended. Then I wrap the entire bell in a few layers of bubble wrap, making sure to spend extra time and plastic on the outer rim of the bell flare. Okay, now that I have everything wrapped up, it's time to put this all in a box. I insert the cardboard tube into the box. It should fit snugly and not move around at all. If it moves around inside the box, you got the wrong size box. I like using this method much more than shipping trombones inside trombone cases because it adds considerable rigidity with very little added weight, so that the forces on the instrument when the box gets tossed around are minimized. I think it was Mark Twain who once referred to luggage carriers on the train as baggage smashers, and I'm no Mark Twain. So like I said before, I always get insurance for the full replacement value of the instrument. Anyway, I like to fill the bottom of the box with a whole bunch of packing peanuts. Then I put the slide inside the tube right against the cardboard securing it in portrait mode. Then on the other side of the tube, I like to place my well-wrapped valve section and add more peanuts to keep the two parts completely separated by a dense layer of packing peanuts. After adding more packing peanuts on top of the valve section, I add my bell flare, making sure that it's entirely surrounded by, you guessed it, lots and lots of packing peanuts. The idea here is to make sure nothing moves inside the box, and I mean nothing. Your valve section is a pretty rigid and dense object, so keeping it deep in the box and away from your slide and bell is really important. You might notice I like to pack my bell flare facing up because I hope that will minimize the loads on it in hopes the box is placed right side up. One can certainly hope. Anyway, after I got my bell flare in the tube and it's completely 100% surrounded by lots and lots of packing peanuts on all sides, I like to add another pillow of bubble wrap to the top of the box and tape it all in place. I feel that way I lose fewer packing peanuts to the inside of the box and keep the contents from moving around. Then it's time to tape up the box. Now I like to make sure I have some moderate pressure on the lid of the box. This is important. And here you see me checking to make sure that I'm not overdoing that. Packing peanuts and bubble wrap will compress during shipping. That's what they're supposed to do. So I want a very full box, but I don't want to force anything. That's important. So, so here I made sure there's nothing in the way of the box closing and that the bell is far removed from the outside of the box before sealing the box securely and putting on it the heaviest thing I have around as a gargoyle to test my taping job. The last thing I want to mention is that it's important to take photos of your packing job as you go through it. That way, if something happens to your instrument, you'll have proof of the quality of the packing job you did. So it's really very simple. You want to get a lamp box, 
a 12 inch cardboard cement pouring tube, lots of packing peanuts and bubble wrap. Wrap the various parts of your instrument separately, and when placing them in the box, make sure everything fits snugly and is separated by a dense layer of packing peanuts. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more awesome content, such as Help, the Trombone Exercise Library Project, or my trombone quartet arrangement of George Gershwin's Someone to Watch Over Me, recorded with Joe Alessi, Koichiro Yamamoto, and Brian Wendell, make sure and click subscribe below. See you later.